Now, uh, in that briefing by the Ministry of External Affairs, uh, they went on to say that they are in touch with uh, the authorities, which is now the army and the interim government in Bangladesh, which will take uh, oath later this evening. The safety and security of Indian nationals remains paramount. There are 19,000 people in Bangladesh, most of whom have come back, is the confirmation that has come to the fore from the Ministry of External Affairs. That there are 19,000 people uh, thereabout in Bangladesh, of which 9,000 thereabout are students, uh, of which majority of them have come back. Um, there are Indians uh, who want to come back, and there the our High Commission is assisting them uh, with uh, support. We are in touch with uh, Bangladesh authorities. Uh, we have. Uh, we are closely monitoring the situation. We have, uh, we are in touch with them to ensure the safety and security of our missions, of our personnel who are manning those missions, and also for uh, the safety and security of Indian nationals. So that most of uh, the Indian nationals who are in Bangladesh are back. We're given to understand that as far as non-essential embassy staff is concerned, they too are back here in India. Yes, uh, that's right. So uh, right now, Indian government is looking uh, uh, at the new government with a lot of uh, uh, positivity. In fact, Indian government has to say that the paramount is the interest of the people of Bangladesh. Also, Indian government is concerned about uh, the attacks on the minorities. In fact, uh, Indian government has welcomed some groups protecting uh, religious places, sites. Uh, so, uh, so that has been appreciated. Uh, but they have confirmed that they are in touch with the authorities back in Bangladesh. Now, what, uh, which authority they are speaking to has not been, the details have not been shared uh, with us. Indian High Commission is going to, Commissioner is going to attend the swearing-in ceremony of uh, Mohammed Muizu. That has also been uh, confirmed. And, uh, and uh, in the, all Indian go India government wants right now is, uh, is, is the restoration of law and order and looking for a, uh, for a normalcy uh, to return uh, to the country. And, so, and it would uh, uh, also be helpful not just for the Bangladesh but for the whole of the region. Absolutely, that stability is required for Bangladesh and for the subcontinent as well and the world is watching all the developments that take place there. For the moment, Sidan, thank you so much for getting us the latest on that front. It's a wrap from my side here on this edition, but news and updates continue on CNN News 18. Don't go anywhere.